So in this video, we built a track from the scratch inside of Bitwig Studio. Uh, we start completely empty. We built everything step by step, getting slowly more complex. And then in the end, we probably have some kind of track. I try to explain along the way what I'm doing. And yeah, that's the, that's the main idea. So here we have Bitwig Studio completely empty. That's how I like it because everything is possible. Um, so we create just some kind of loop. So I just enable the loop, right? And then I'm going for uh, 120 BPM because I want to make some kind of techno melodic, you know, crossover something. Um, so we are gonna create just some kind of kick drum. And I prepared some grid patch here, which creates some kind of melodic kick drum I really like. Um, this one is pretty interesting here. I can create a clip. Inside this clip, I just create a one uh, note, and then I make the clip itself pretty short. So I can create this one here. Uh, I can also here yeah, um, just use the self trigger which are implemented in the grid, but this time it's not needed. And it's also outputting here the uh, the nodes or the gate signals actually, so you can grab it later on for some side chaining. But here I'm using uh, the node clip for triggering the kick. And I'm just saying this because I want to share this later on on my Patreon, um, the whole project here and also the presets. So we have this kick drum here running. Maybe we go for 121, why not? <laughs> uh, so we have this and we probably don't want to run this or have this pattern running all the time. So we want to have some changes later on. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a delay, a note delay, and this just offsets the kick drum, but I'm putting this into a node FX layer with control G and using a second one. And the first one is disabled, so nothing happens. Right, so I have basically two kick drums. So the first one and the second one is just delayed by, um, yeah, two 16 notes here. So I can create some kind of double time. I'm using a step mod here and the step mod uh, gets all blanked out completely deleted and then let me see when I do this here a bit longer I'm sequencing this here half note yeah maybe here we switch on the delay right so we have some kind of variety in the pattern at some point maybe you go to 32 notes it's the same speed, but then this one is shorter because the steps are bigger or more steps. So each step is shorter, if, the, if this, this makes sense to you. So we have this pattern running. Uh, we probably also want to have some hi-hats. Um, just use here the E-hat. You can use some samples if you want to. You don't need to use the E-hat device of Bitwig Studio. Just styling in here. Um, yeah, we also use your short pattern for notes, make this pretty short, use the um, velocity settings just to accentuate your basically the offbeat. Maybe an EQ5 here. And maybe a low cut. Not much. Just a peak limiter here to make sure. Okay, so maybe we introduce here some kind of claps. And I want to use here um, the XO for that. Because it's, it's just simpler to um, find the right claps or clap samples on my hard drive. So I'm combining here, multiple. So 
something like this. Um, then we get a clap here on these notes. Um, it. So I notch certain samples here just to trigger them earlier. Right, and then I also can use here the um, uh, the stereo settings here. This one basically uses an harsh effect, so it delays the right channel by a certain amount of time. So it gets some kind of stereo effect. And we also have here the pitch settings. So we can say the right channel is slightly pitched or it's pitched differently, just slightly. So we get also a stereo effect. So now we basically have some kind of combined clap that is pretty wide. And you get some low cut in here. You can also use your expression uh, modulator on the E hat and use velocity to actually make the decay a bit longer for the offbeat here. Oh, this one here needs to needs to be on never sleep, never suspend. Okay. So this is basically here the drum, the bass drum loop, um, all these drums. On this one here, I'm using my auto leveler plugin. So everything is basically increased to the zero dB line here, right? And then I'm using uh, the fall parameter to basically dial in. So I think for 120 the um, release time should be 250 milliseconds. Maybe a bit of shuffle. Okay. So now that we have this, we probably want to create some kind of um, melodic, mel mel melodic layers. What I usually do is to create some kind of drone sound and you can create these drone sounds in all kinds of ways. Um, I usually tend to um, use piano tech here. Um, I have to find it. Piano tech. Um, and of course I use my, um, I use my keyboard here. And I'm going for A. And yeah, after the piano tech here, I just use maybe super massive just to blur the sound. Or we can use here a delay, delay plus with the space algorithm diffusion setting here. And then I'm using a pause stretch, which is also free. I put this here on throughput and then just record. Just the, the root, the fifth and the fourth. And then we hit play here and stretch this. And smear everything together. And then we can even delete here everything before the pause stretch because we have this here in the buffer and it's saved also with the, the project itself. So that's the drone. This gives us some kind of um, rudimentary uh, note or pedal tone or whatever. Um, after that, we want to create maybe a polymer to make some melodic lines. And usually what you do in other DAWs, you create some kind of note clip here and, you know, create notes and yeah, 
paint something in. But I want to use here some kind of step sequencer for that, so I'm using a, a node grid. Um, yeah, let's use the node grid, they're completely empty. I usually have my presets, but I want to create everything from scratch here. So what we don't need is here, basically the input, the node input, so we can delete this. Select the device itself, and then on the left side here we use node through, so we just pass everything that goes in from the MIDI keyboard to the device, like we just pass it through, even though we have deleted here all the uh, node inputs and outputs. Um, then we want to use a value knob. Uh, we put this value knob on bipolar setting here, and then we use a step mod on the device itself. Put this also on the uh, bipolar mode here. It dies multiple times. Select here the first one and just delete this with shift click. Uh, and then we modulated the value button by maybe 10, not too much. And then this one here goes into the quantizer. And because we use A minor, it's all the white keys. Uh, but in the grid, zero, the value of zero is C, but we need A. So we use a transpose here, we pull this down three semitones because from C to A, they are exactly three semitones. Uh, then we use the sample and hold. So this transpose basically makes it when I paint in here a zero, right? If I delete everything, this now plays an A instead of a C. That's the whole thing. Yeah, I just transpose it basically around. Um, so yeah, so zero is basically the root node. Um, then we go here into that and we probably also want to trigger this in a fancy way, 16 nodes. Uh, maybe nine clock quantizer here. Put this into trigger mode and then we can here yeah, trigger the sample and hold. So this needs to play much faster. Okay, that's that's fine so far. Um, we also want to implement here something early on, and that's um, that the playback actually stops um, when I hit uh, stop on the transport. So I can use here the play transfer playing, but I know exactly later on I want to sequence this right. So I want to have some note clips triggering this on and off. So I'm using here a note clip and put one note in there and the pitch doesn't matter here it's it's there needs to be just one note in there and we grab this note here with the gate in right we get a triggering here or get a signal here and we trigger here the select with this so everything every time there's a note playing we switch this on and then the triggering here creates the gates we have to hit play here of course Oh yeah, we need to actually delete the node through our okay. cam. So when we hit stop, nothing happens, which is nice. So then we need um, an octava. We put this here in front of the sample and hold. I like to have everything in front of the sample and hold because then you see what nodes are actually getting triggered here by the sample and hold. We will put this on zero and we duplicate here the sequencer or the step mod. And this one gets only 15 steps, one step shorter, which means when you hit play, you can see here the every time we basically loop through this, we just step one step shorter or further than this one. So they never they never synchronize only one time in, in every 16 iterations or so. So we use this here for uh, changing the octave, yeah, maybe by two, two octaves. 
Let's see how this sounds. So now the octave shift basically happens in different points in the sequence here, which makes it a bit more interesting. Okay, so now that we have this, we can rename this here also to octaves, octaves, and this is here um, pitches, and then we duplicate this even more here, yeah? and this is number, and this one gets 14 steps, and this one is pressure, under pressure, this one gets 13 steps. Okay, so here this will be randomized, this one also. And then we do the same thing here basically for, for timbre and pressure. So this is uh, timbre, this is pressure. We also use a sample and hold you in, in that. Of course, we want to have a pressure setting and a timbre setting for each note differently instead of changing it in between the notes. Uh, timbre goes here, pressure goes here, okay. And then we probably also want to do this for velocity, I think. Mm. Let me move this up here a bit. Goes in there, and then we do your velocity 12 steps. Call this velocity. Okay. Yeah, it's only modulated by one. Okay. So now we have a lot of things here moving. So what we want to do now is exchange the wavetable for something more interesting. I have a lot of wavetables here created. I also want to share this on my Patreon pretty soon here. Yeah, I just collect some stuff. Um, and there's also something here that that's no fundamental harmonics, right? It's just random overtones without the hum without the fundamental. But inside of the polymer, we can dial in the fundamental by using the sub oscillator on zero. Right, it's just a sign. So now we can use the expression modulator here to use, for instance, timbre for the index and pressure for the modulation amount here. Um, Let's go for this. Maybe we open this up here by 12. So inside of, of the FX box here, we use a delay plus. Oh, that's a delay two, a delay plus the space algorithm here and maybe in front of this a convolution oh, I need the device here and that's what I like to do uh, lately here by uh, for creating reverb so I combine um, delay 2 delay plus with the diffusion and convolution in front so I have you know the best of all worlds Can use here the velocity maybe or the phase modulation. Octus. Maybe I play this a bit slower here. we can find some kind of nice melody that we like. Uh, 
uh, we can move this down here. Yeah? So instead of using the pitches output here for the value, which is by 10%, we can use also here a mix modulator and mix uh, or modulate basically the pitches here, um, the slider A by 100%. Just duplicate this here and modulate B with this. So on here we can maybe delete certain points or right click and say transform and inverse. Um, reverse, right? And then just instead of modulating our pitches, the value here, we'd use the output of the mix. So we can switch between this melody and this melody. And then we can say, um, here's a step mod. And this step mod plays pretty slowly, so bar. So each bar plays in a time frame of one bar. What we do is something like 16 here. So each bar takes 16 bars, right? So we go down to two bars, second one and we modulate it basically this mix up so we have 16 bars the first melody and 16 bars the um, this melody and of course we have to use here the make the loop longer Can this can actually move here the, the, the modulator over here and keep this, keep everything. Actually, let's move everything on the global scale here. See here the modulation is was deleted for some reason. It's probably a bug. Oh, I did something wrong. Okay. So let's keep that. Maybe we use this later on here for sequencing some different things on or other tracks. So I want to also introduce here a curves uh, module. Put this on bar. And I want to have 16 bars to delete everything. Make a light ramp here. Yeah? And put this on groove. Then I want to open up here the filter maybe. maybe increase the delay time. Let's see how this sounds. Not too much. Just a just a tad. Okay, so we have some kind of um, transitioning here every 16 bars. So the next 
first uh, step would be to create some kind of base uh, for this. For, uh, for that, I'm using also polymer uh, synth here. Create a new clip, entry on A. Let's stick to A for now. So this is just one note and we want to use repeater probably. Ah, that's too fast, go to three. Put the quantizer there. Put the groove on. Here we want to have um, a bit of noise. And Polymer should be on mono, monophonic. We only want to have this monophonic mode so we don't overlap with some uh, bass sounds. Okay, this is nice. Um, then we create here maybe a step mod to bring in some variety. Eight steps. And then we modify it the repeater setting. Okay, so here we use the transpose then because we want to change the yeah the pitch of the notes. Let me close this down here. Uh, we want to change the pitch of the notes here, and you can see the note transpose for me has a different default setting. I have already in place a step mod and a sample and hold. Um, but for you, I want to show you how this is built. So I'm using a sample and hold. Sample and hold is on gate mode, so we trigger basically a sample every time we have a note. We put this here on hold. So every time we get a note from this note repeater, yeah, we sample a value and the value we input here with the input uh, knob with the step mode. Um, let me put this here on bipolar mode. So here at the end of the sequence, we Oh, maybe make this shorter, eight. We push the pitch here, this up by 12 semitones. Right, so we can create a bit of variety even though we have only just one note in here. And to make sure this is in the right scale, we use a key filter here. Uh, with A minor. But instead of uh, modifying this here directly, and this is the, it's the, what's the wrong, wrong thing? You have to modulate here the input, of course. Then use the output of the sample notes here with the semitones 12. That's the right way of doing it. can even try to put in here a slight delay, no delay, yeah, no delay, delay this by 260 notes. So it's more offbeat, right? You can hear first there comes the kick drum and then comes the bass. So everything is delayed by 260 notes, which brings most of the times a bit of groove. So peak limiter here. Yeah, 
yeah, we use here the output of this curve. We use this here for the um, decay setting. So I put this here on uh, to minus three or maybe minus four. I know roughly the, the, the numbers for that because we used the peak limiter and pushed everything to zero dB. I know exactly the base is now peaking at minus four and the kick drum is peaking at exactly zero dB. Right here, minus zero dot three. And now I can use on the base here, I'm using a tool device use here not my preset and then i'm using the side chain node side chain pull everything down and choose the kick drum here it's an input and we call the space we put here the polymer and the drone into a group and call this uh, music. And we also want to have here um, the side chain also on the music bus, or maybe not that much. too much limiter on the music bus here just to make sure what we need now is some kind of um, yeah lead sound go for pulley synth in it um, I use the transpose here um, by six, I think. Transpose up on D sharp, so I can play the black keys and utilize the pentatonic scale. Delay plus. Maybe a um, convolution here. Put this here on. Unison up. This up. This vibrator. That's the pitch. Pitch is here.
maybe sound a bit too much 80s, too much synth wave, so you can try and use different lead sounds, whatever I want to use. Just record something here. different wave table yeah to do something on the master so i'm using a quick trick for the fx3 in every in every band i'm using a limiter and a clipper Sound here is too loud. I want to have it mount more in the background. Okay, so now we want to create some kind of percussions, and I usually uh, tend to use Atlas for that. Um, we have a preset for Atlas. Basically, I have an every in every slot you have a percussion sound already. Right, it's the same sound, but now I can just press on new kit here and it loads in from my hard drive some random sample in there, which is a percussion sound. I really like to have, have it this way. So I'm creating here a new note clip, starting on C1. I can create here some... Uh, some simple patterns. Maybe play around here with the pitch. I 
Oh yeah, you can select everything here. Maybe put a blur on it. Um, maybe in front here an echo, a note echo. Repetition zero, three, change the pitch slightly. Make sure this is on the grid. I'm using a quantizer. Shuffle on. And maybe at the end here, peak limiter. You probably also don't need an low frequencies here, so I'm cutting this away. Delay and no delay. Okay, so we have some percussion sounds here. Maybe you can put this in the drums group. What we also can do is we put this here into an instrument layer and switch this to an instrument selector. Duplicate this and the second thing here gets a different setting. Different note delay. In a different sample set. Can again use here from the global project panel. We can use the sequencer and switch this every 16 bars. So this this curves and increase the feedback here. Can pitch this up one semi to uh, one octave. Um, I'm transposed to this.
so let's save this. Um, EDM, yeah. And then we can slowly start to arrange this in a way, or maybe um, create some more modulations we can use later on. So let's use a macro here, call this um, expression. This here, base mod, it's a lead sound. Let's go for the bass. Or we can do this actually the other way around. Just modulate the spec here to zero. the fucking filter. Yeah, I want to change also the speed setting. out here.
this already some kind of small arrangement. like this. like it. <laughs> oh yeah, we put the claps here out of the sequencer. Mute this. I'll stop this. Then we just record everything here. Yeah, we have some kind of micro arrangement already. Um, there's probably some stuff I want to remove in the intro. Uh, maybe here the claps. Uh, what's this? Um, maybe here. Maybe start even here. One minute mark. the bass maybe also That's not a good idea here to have this. I 
I'll probably want to use this here. And then drop. what I would do. Yeah, it starts okay. There needs to be a lot of filler sounds and effect sounds just to, you know, hide the fact that it's actually a super simple track. Could be nice to have your different op sound. Maybe put this here into into an if instrument layer, and then an instrument selector. Duplicate this, and the second one here. Different wavetable. Change the first one, damn it. Sounds a bit better with the seven setting here. Oh, I put this in the top layer, bottom layer it gets a different setting.
sounds okay-ish. Maybe not the right settings for everything so far, but I kind of like it. Uh, maybe we need some fade-ins here and there. Um, I think I created some kind of riser settings. I uh, probably need, yeah, I need an, I need a note clip as an input. Much we up. this here I think the bass needs something. Here, the bass. The bass plays different notes. Let me see. Um, make this twice as long.
can be a layer this uh, layer the bass sound here with a different sound. Not sure if this works. Maybe the delay this one here. of a cue. Let's try a different base table. just enable this here and some writes so again I'm using XO for writes here I've already set up XO with a lot of write samples in it so you can just load this in create a clip
here also in the drum group. Let's see how this sounds. That's not the best track, huh? Probably want to add the reverb here on this riser. Okay, so um, I probably want to add here at this point some kind of arpeggio, also with the polymer, just so some to have some different sounds. you want to have a
I want to have an odd number of um, <clears throat> odd number of notes here, so the sequence is a bit uh, more interesting. step mod Fades in slowly. Das hier auch so wird das Step Mod. Yeah, we can use basically the piano to hide the fact that the track, ta track has no content. 
uh, play a bit around on the scale. Just recording stuff here. It's a bit too much. I'm almost doing this, but so you get the idea. Basically, just get your MIDI keyboard out and play something on the scale, and you know, play a bit around with it and fill up the space in between so the ear has something to catch on. <clears throat> it's maybe too much here. Maybe you can put some random VSTs on it, so I haven't bought them for nothing. Also, maybe add something like some string sounds. Um, maybe something by Spitfire. S intimate strings. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I need my transpose here. Also, 
only in the scale, something in the scale, just pressing notes out of, out of the scale, nothing special. So just record this. Just to fill up the intro with some musical content here. It's maybe also too much. Probably want to have it more minimal. But also delay on it here. Oh yeah, and we want to also create some kind of crash sound. Um, oh yeah, I've already also crashed XO here. Yeah. Okay, why is there no sound here? C1. Hmm. What's wrong here? Oh, that's, that's a solo button. Okay, I see. Um, crash. Yeah, something basic. Maybe too basic. you can sample this here balance so we'll put this here let's crash and maybe you also can reverse this reverse and pitch it down one octave.
Yeah, I'm also using yeah the velocity sensitivity. I create another one. The steeper curve for this. Okay, so I want to stop at this point because everything from now on until it's finished, it's adding smaller details, flashing out transitionings, um, uh, adding small sounds in the intro, adding stuff in the outro, remove sounds, find sweet spot for settings and, you know, all the little modulations here and there. So it's a lot of small detail work that's not pleasant to watch, but it's need it needs to be done. And everyone has their own kind of uh, perfectionism, um, how everything should sound. So I don't want to bore you basically with the uh, with this process because maybe it takes another additional two hours to flesh everything out. Uh, and then maybe I'm not happy with the track and I just delete it <laughs> like I usually do. Um, so I want to show you basically the rough process from start to up to this point. Um, how you find melodies with step sequences, how you incorporate all the little modulations in Bitwig Studio, how to use the uh, synthesizers and how you make a rough, nice draft of a track. And I also want to share, of course, this project with my patrons, uh, all the presets I, I made in there. Um, so yeah, that's just was the plan for this video. So if you liked the video, please leave a like, uh, write something in the comments, uh, smiley or something, everything helps. Um, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Patreon, whatever. Um, everything helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.